Hello, um, so it's Monday the 23rd of October, um, it's my fourth day um, in the hospital now. Um, I was feeling a bit angry today because um, I, I was told all weekend that they just didn't have the proper doctors and the doctors that did come to see me, one was a chest specialist and he just basically was only interested in chests. Um, and, the, and then the other one um, just also said they didn't know anything and that they were a junior doctor so they couldn't do anything. Um, but it was the weekend so I was told that on Monday I'd get to see a proper consultant who was relevant and would um, be able to establish what was wrong with me and would know about my condition and so on. Um, and basically uh, the guy turned up about lunchtime. Um, after I'd been just sitting there waiting for him, um, I explained what had happened to him, you know, about the way that my shoulder blade had just fallen down my back uh, in this really sudden and dramatic way. Um, but I don't think he was listening because he sort of asked um, if it had come on gradually after I said that, and I was like, no, I just explained that it came on suddenly. Anyway, and the whole conversation went along those lines, I said something and then he asked a question that showed that he hadn't listened or understood what I'd said. I'm not sure why. Um, but he didn't have a clue what it was or what to do. I told him that it was the nerves um, and he just had a really blank face and just shrugged. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just feeling really angry because I asked him if I was told on Friday that I was going to be seen by a neurologist um, by today and I asked them if that was happening um, and they said they didn't know and I asked if the neurologist would still say, see me today and they said they didn't know. So basically um, I've been here since Friday, four days um, and nothing has happened. They've done no investigations, um, they haven't established anything about what's wrong with my shoulder other than what I've already personally told them from what I knew from, you know, when it happened last time and seeing the neurologist. So I'm just feeling really fed up um, and also I found out that I am going to see the dietitian, but um, they haven't come yet. Uh, hopefully they might still come today, at least that'll be something, something to do. Um, I am getting a bit bored now, to be honest, um, but it's mainly just because I feel angry that it doesn't seem like anything is happening. I mean, they can't just ignore a paralysed shoulder, can they? Anyway, update you later to see if I, you know, if I find anything else out. Bye bye for now. Hello. So it's um, late on Monday evening and um, I've just, sorry, just trying to get my shoulder in a place where it doesn't hurt too much. So um, I've just been moved onto a different ward and this is definitely more of a party ward. We've been like chatting, laughing, making jokes. Uh, bumming cigarettes um, and most of the people in there you know aren't too terribly ill um, so we can just have a bit of fun um, anyway so after I was really angry earlier um, my I got my mum to call the neurologist that I've been seeing at um, Gloucester Hospital um, and leave a message with his secretary to ask if um, he could call me um, or come to the hospital and speak to me because um, it didn't seem as if I was getting anywhere with trying to see a neurologist and he already knew about my shoulder problem um, and things like that so um, we just thought it'd be worth a try I didn't actually expect anything to happen but then half an hour later um, the neurologist turned up he just suddenly appeared and I was like so happy to see him because he's just the only person that's actually listened and understood to me as a doctor um, and he was really nice he said he asked me what I thought it was 
um, and why I had come to the hospital. Um, and I explained to him um, and I said that I thought it could easily be like a compressed nerve, maybe from the neck to the shoulder or something like that. Um, and I, I also mentioned other possibilities like um, dystonia, which people mentioned, um, and a sort of rare thing called periodic paralysis. Um, so after mentioning all those, I asked him what he thought, and he said um, that he th that he thought that a nerve being trapped in the neck was quite plausible, and so he's ordered me an MRI scan, um, and I'll be getting that soon, um, hopefully tomorrow or if not the next day and the dietician should be um, coming to see me as well tomorrow um, and I'm really hoping I can get them to prescribe some of these Fortisip drinks that I've been having because I've realised that they're really helpful for me and I might be able to have more food if I can just have those because they don't upset my stomach. So. Um, Actually, everything's looking much more positive than it was earlier. Um, I'm enjoying just messing around with the um, other girls on the ward, you know, just having a laugh. Um, I'm worried about whether I'll get my scan in time to uh, go to my university course for this week on Wednesday because I really don't want to miss it and have to do the work separately on my own. Um, but I have to stay in hospital until the scan's done and I've had the results because I can't just go off with a trapped nerve and a paralysed shoulder 